Hey friends and welcome back to another video. My name is Alexis Lopez. If you're new here, uh, welcome to my channel. So for today's video, we are going to be talking about all of this year's 2019 spring trends that you're seeing on the runway, you're seeing among the magazines, you're seeing them being worn by, you know, your favorite celebrities, you're seeing them everywhere in stores, retail stores, high fashion, street fashion, fast fashion, everywhere. Um, so we're going to be touching base about the trends that are going to make you feel chic, that are going to make you feel good, um, your ultimate best, um, going to make you feel the most confident, um, and just the ones that, you know, are fun to play around with. We're also going to dabble a little bit in into the trends that I'm not too quite fond of. Um, so if you guys are interested in hearing what I have to say, then just keep on watching. Okay, so first, the fanny pack. Now, I know that this is sort of like a touchy subject. I find that a lot of people either love the fanny pack trend or they absolutely hate the fanny pack trend and people are just like, why is this even back in style? Um, and I can see why people might think that way, but I personally am obsessed with the fanny pack trend, I'm here for it. Um, I am absolutely like just adoring it. And what I'm loving right now about the fanny pack trend is that fashion has redesigned the fanny pack to be a more modernized um, piece that can be worn differently. Now, the fanny pack can be worn very sporty like Rihanna, it can be worn diagonally like Balenciaga, and it can also be worn in a very chic way like Givenchy. So there's just so many different ways that you can play around with it. There's so many different styles now. So whatever style suits you, you can probably find a fanny pack for that or whatever look you're trying to go for. So I'm absolutely here for the fanny pack trend. And what I also love about the fanny pack is just the convenience of it the pure convenience of a fanny pack like how easy is it to have um, something around your waist that not only complements your outfit completes an outfit but it's right there you can use it for traveling purposes it's right there to easy to you know store away your passports any important documents when you're traveling around say you're in some parts of Europe we all know that there's pickpocketers um, in certain areas there so having all your personal belongings safe in front of you where you can see it and have constant control of it it's just so convenient and meanwhile you're still looking cute you're still looking stylish you're still looking trendy um, I mean to me a fanny pack is just like a one-stop shop and I'm here and I hope it sticks around for a very long time. Now, I know we all talk about florals and how florals are you know a staple piece in your clothing a staple um, pattern in the spring but what we don't have to talk about are polka dots now polka dots for me are like a timeless design on any piece i absolutely love polka dots i have been wearing polka dot pieces for a very long time um if you probably saw my last year's spring haul i bought like this polka dot dress um and i just i love polka dots like i can't stop talking about it <laughs> just find that the polka dot design on any piece of items whether that be a skirt a dress a top it's just so feminine i find it to be very chic um and it just i don't know it makes me feel like so ladylike um sort of like audrey hepburn or something like that another trend that I am absolutely here for is monochromatic outfits and I'm speaking more specifically like very neutral whites, very neutral beige, grays, um, all black outfits, just very monochromatic and not like in your face outfits. Now these I have seen in many places on street style, you know, bloggers, um, on the fashion runway. Um, that is super stylish and I absolutely love the look of it. It's a monochromatic look with like an oversized piece. So whether that oversized piece be um, like a jacket or like an oversized top or even like coolettes, something that, you know, is like a statement, a piece in the outfit in the look it just creates more depth to the outfit it creates more interest to the outfit like let's say a high-waisted coolette white jeans with like maybe a pointed kitten heel um, wear it with like a white tee but then throw on top of it an oversized trench now that has interest to the outfit that adds depth to the outfit it gives it a touch of chicness a touch of style a touch of like androgynous to the look um, so it's a little bit more playful um, and it has dimension okay so let's talk about the transparent pieces that are in fashion right now now these are one of these trends that you know I love but at the same time I'm sort of 
like borderline not too sure about it. <laughs> um, I love certain pieces of it, but there's some pieces that I'm not too fond of. Now, for example, these transparent heels right now that you're seeing everywhere, um, I'm totally here for that trend. I absolutely love it. I find that when you throw a transparent shoe, it elongates your legs. It makes it look like your legs are just ongoing forever um, because because they're transparent, right? So it almost looks like you're not wearing a shoe. And I know that some people might find that a little bit strange. Like the purpose of a shoe is for you to be able to see that you're wearing a shoe, um, aside from obviously not with your own barefoot. Uh, um, but I just, I love the look of like a transparent heel with an outfit, especially if like your main bold piece is like say the dress or you know, the top. You wanna make sure that the attention is not being driven away um, but that the attention is on that staple piece and that the shoe are just a nice accessory to complement the look um, now in terms of like the transparent purses that you're seeing everywhere this one I'm not really sure what my opinion is I like it but at the same time I'm not really sure I like the whole look of it I like the idea of it I like the concept of it I think it's aesthetically pleasing um, I think it makes great for like Instagram pictures if you're into that but in terms of the functionality of it, I'm not quite sure if I'm here for it. Now, I love fashion, I love style, but I also like, you know, convenience, I like functionality, I like it to be, you know, a logical piece. Now, um, a bag like that, it will get dirty super quickly and it's going to be super noticeable. Now, I don't know about you, but me, the outside of my bags, you know, they're very pretty, don't say much, but when you look on the inside, you can tell it is disorganized, I have receipts in there, I have gum in there, I have, you know, wrappers in there, you know, life happens and you just end up throwing things in your bag. Now, with these transparent bags, you can't really do that um, because everyone's going to see what's inside your bag. And to be honest, I don't always love people seeing what's inside my bags because sometimes I might have some personal things inside my bag. So in that sense, I'm not too sure how I feel about the transparent handbag. I think for maybe a picture, an editorial shot, um, it's very nice, it's very aesthetically pleasing, but in terms of everyday convenience, functionality, if you want to look cute but yet you still you know, need to get on with your day with real life, it's not the most um, functional purse. Another piece of this transparent trend that I'm not too fond of is the transparent raincoat. Um, now I think that the transparent raincoat looks so beautiful like in any editorial magazine. Um, I think that looks great. It's very artsy fashion. Um, it's great for like the runways but is it ready to wear fashion? Not really. Um, I don't, I personally don't really um, find it ready to wear fashion. I mean, I'm sure there are many bloggers, you know, there's many um, style icons out there that have made this piece work for them. But for me personally and my personal style, I just don't think um, that it really like suits my style. Um, and I'm not too fond of it either. It depends on you and your style and how you think maybe you can play with it. Okay, so up next, I wanna talk about the silk slip dress. I am absolutely just like, in total awe and in love with the slip, silk slip dress. I think these are such beautiful pieces to have in your closet. I think they're so feminine and they're so chic. Um, they're just so like, uh, like, they're just divine. Like I feel like if you were to describe the silk slip, it would just be the word divine. <laughs> like I absolutely love this trend right now. And what I love even more about it is that you can style it in ways that suit your style or whatever you're, you're trying to go for that day. Now the silk slip dress can be worn in a very feminine and chic way. Maybe wear it with like a cardigan on top, you know, maybe like wear it with like the cardigan on one shoulder, off one shoulder, showing some shoulder, showing a little bit of skin, you know, being sexy yet feminine at the same time. Maybe you want to belt it a bit to cinch the waist a little and maybe then you want to add um, a shoe and the shoe right now that I think looks so perfect with a silk dress um, are the kitten heels that are all over the place right now. Strappy kitten heel shoe, they're, they're comes, they come in black, they come in white, they're coming in all colors. They're that very staple 90s, early 2000s shoe. I remember seeing it all over, um, it's like Sex in the City. It was there, I remember seeing it Carrie Bradshaw wearing it and now it's back and I think it looks so beautiful with a silk dress. 
Um, another way that you can wear the silk dress is a very grungy way. You can wear a silk dress with like combat boots. I think that also looks very cute with maybe like a sweater or a leather jacket. Um, maybe you want to like tie up a, a shirt with it. Add a little bit um, of edge, add a little bit of grunge, a bit of attitude if you want to wear it a little bit differently. Now the next trend are cord suits. Um, I absolutely love this trend. Now you have your cord suits that are the wardrobe staple, um, and then you have the more the more casual, the more everyday look as well, like a denim jacket with like a denim skirt that you're seeing everywhere right now, especially in fast fashion. Now let's talk a little bit first about the coard um, suit, the like blazer with the pants suit. I think this is such a timeless piece. It has been around for so long, but now it has been redesigned to be a bit more playful. You're seeing it on the runway um, by designers like Chanel, Gucci. Um, you're just seeing it in like these beautiful starburst neon colors. You have pinks, you have greens, you have yellows. Um, and what's so great about a cord suit is that not only can you wear it together to be bold, bright, and just like have that statement look, but you can also mix and match it with other things in your closet. Like if you wanna wear a bold pink neon blazer with maybe some softer hues, whether that be with a white t-shirt underneath or um, a pair of light wash denim, I think that also makes the look look a little bit more playful, a little bit more fun. Um, and it's just a great way to restyle the pieces in your closet as well. Days where I'm being a little bit more casual, you know, I think the denim skirt and the denim jacket It's a cute look that you can wear for like an everyday look. Another trend right now that just proves that fashion is not just, you know, a superficial industry, um, but it's more than that. It's a representation of what's going on in the world, um, a way to express yourself. Um, and this is the utility industrial suit that you're seeing every right now from, you know, Judy Hadid, Belle Hadid, Kendall Jenner, you know, models on the runway, bloggers, you're seeing all these women wearing it. And it's just a representation of like this, you know, wave of feminism that's going on right now in today's society. Um, and I absolutely love the industrial utility suit. I think it's I think it's just so easy. It's such an easy piece. Um, not only is it stylish, but um, it's convenient. Like it's perfect for those days where you're not really sure to wear and you don't really want to think about it. Just throw on a jumpsuit and you're good to go. Maybe put on like a little bit, of, a little headband. Maybe throw a fanny pack um, on your waist to cinch it a bit. Maybe you want to wear it with some cute strappy sandals, or maybe you want to wear it more casual day, casual that day with a pair of white sneakers. Or maybe you want to wear it with combat boots. However you want, I think it's such a statement piece. It's such a stylish, stylish piece, and it's most importantly like such an easy piece. And I'm always here for something that's easy, quick that you can wear and doesn't require a lot of thought, and it's just effortless and stylish at the same time. Now another trend right now that I'm seeing is color blocking, especially with neon colors. I find that it's very 60s. Um, I I'm not like absolutely loving that trend um i think is okay um for me at least and my style and what like what things i like to wear i don't really find that i gravitate towards that style towards that trend um but, but nonetheless to those who do wear it um you know i've seen so many bloggers so many fashion style icons who are wearing it and they're pulling it off and it looks great on them it's just personally not like one of the trends right now that i'm really loving okay another trend right now that is absolutely everywhere is the crochet and now I'm seeing like crochet tops um, especially for like that are very beachy I'm seeing you know crocheted um, denim jackets um, and I, I really do I like this trend um, I don't have much crochet in my own wardrobe but I do like the look um, I absolutely uh, I really like it actually on like, I really like those crocheted sweaters um, that you can easily throw on top of a bathing suit. I think that's really pretty um, and I actually um, have been thinking of investing in maybe a crocheted sweater to throw on top as like um, a swimsuit cover up because I think it's very pretty, it's very chic and very stylish. Um, so another trend that is sort of like the fanny pack that I'm finding um, half the people don't like it and then the other half that absolutely do love it are biker shorts. Now I have been loving biker shorts. Um, I think they're so, like they're such an easy, fun piece to, you know, dress up or dress down. You can wear it casually, um, you can wear it very sporty-like, or you can wear it, or you can dress it up, which I think is such a fun way to, you know, reinvent fashion, to restyle fashion, to recycle it as well. Um, so I'm absolutely loving the bike shorts right now. I'm loving it in all kinds of styles. The blazer with the bike shorts, I know that it's 
it's a little bit different um, and not everyone is here for that look but I personally really enjoy it um, I think it's a great way to mix you know your different styles together to add interest to an outfit to add depth to an outfit so I'm also been seeing a lot of square uh, necklines whether those be on like strappy tops or on dresses um, I've been seeing it everywhere lately and I'm really really obsessed with that look I think it's so beautiful I think it adds a unique touch to a top it makes the style a little bit different I also get a little bit of like Renaissance vibes to the look as well um, I absolutely been loving the square neckline with like the puff shoulders and the buttons going down. I think that's like screams renaissance, but like a modernized renaissance look. I think it's very beautiful and I absolutely love it. I love it both both ways. I love it in dresses and I love it like, in tops. I think it's very pretty and I think it's a very different take on like just your regular um, strappy shirt or your regular dress. Um, I, definitely thinks it adds a touch of uniqueness to the look. Now the last trend that we're going to be speaking about is accessories and now I'm sure you've been seeing it everywhere. Um, you've been seeing a lot of hair accessories that are totally in right now. Um, earrings with like dangling pearls on it, um, like hoop earrings whether they'll be small ones very dainty ones i think those are like taking over right now um especially the hair accessories you've been probably seeing them all over instagram you know you have the hair pieces that are rectangular the ones that are circle the ones with pearls on them the ones with a little bit of detailing on them i think this is such a fun way to you know play around with your hairstyle play around with the look um accessories honestly can sometimes complete an entire look okay guys but that's it for today's video i really hope you guys found that helpful useful and some interesting information i know i absolutely love to keep up with the latest trends i love to see what's new on the runways every season so i love watching videos like this so i hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know in the comment section down below what trends you're loving right now and what trends you're not really so much into right now i love to hear all of your opinions also let me know what kind of videos you like you guys like from me i would absolutely love your feedback i always love to hearing what you guys have to say um so yeah that's it for today i'll see you guys all in my next video Mwah. bye guys